Hello students, welcome to Mr. TK classes. Our main topic is adjustments to the statement of comprehensive income and we are going to focus on rent income adjustment. This is our question and this is our answer book. In this tutorial, I'm going to unpack the rent income adjustment whereby we are given percentage increase. I have realized that many students struggle with this adjustment. So in this tutorial, I'm going to simplify it by giving you all the tricks behind the rent income adjustment whereby we are given a percentage increase. The question reads, extract from the list of balances for the year ended 31 December 2019. Nominal account section, rent income 280,525. Adjustments, one, an office was rented out from 1 January 2019. Rent income was received for 11 months. The rent was increased on 1 September 2019 by 15%. Required, prepare the statement of comprehensive income extract for the year ended 31 December 2019. So, there are a few things that you should know beforehand. Number one, all amounts recorded in the statement of comprehensive income are amounts for the year. Which means that if we have any outstanding amounts, we should add them. And if we have any amounts paid in advance, we should subtract them. Number two, rent income in the list of balances is rent received. Why? Because this amount would have been taken from the bank statement. Our adjustment reads, an office was rented out from 1 January 2019. And we can see that our financial year ends 31 December 2019, which means that this office was rented out from the beginning of our financial year. So this office was rented out for 12 months, right? Then rent income was received for 11 months. And we want to record rent income for the year, which is 12 months. So what we need to do, we need to calculate the 12th month. So the next question that we are going to have is that, are we going to say 280,525 divided by 11 and get rent income which is equivalent to one month? Then we say that's our 12th month. The answer is no. Why? Because the adjustment says the rent was increased on 1 September 2019 by 15%, which means that rent was not even throughout the year. It changed during the year. So under step number one, we are going to determine number of months before increase and number of months after increase, right? So we are going to say months before increase, right? Let's count. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So we are not going to count September because this is one September, right? So we have eight months. Then months after, months after increase, right? Months after increase. Let's count September. October, November. So we are not going to count December because rent was received for 11 months. So it was received up to November, right? So we have three months. Eight plus three, that's 11. And this amount is equivalent to 11 months, right? So we are going to use this to create what I will call apportionment basis. 
right? So how do we do that? We are just going to say 8 multiplied by 100. Why? Because an amount before increase or an amount before decrease is 100%, right? Amount before increase or amount before decrease is equal to 100%. Because that amount hasn't changed. So it is equal to 100%. That's why we are multiplying by 100. So we are going to get 800, right? Then this amount after increase, we are just going to say 100 plus 15%. So it is equal to 115%, right? So what do we get here? 3 multiplied by 115, we are going to get 345, right? Then let's calculate our total. Let's calculate our total. 345 plus 800. That's 1,145. That's 1,145. Right? Remember, we are calculating December, the 12th month, because rent was received for 11 months, and this is 11 months. And we want to record for 12 months, because we record amounts for the year. So we are calculating December. Right? And December is a month after increase because rent was increased on 1 September 2019. So December is a month after increase. Right? So we are going to use 345 because December is a month after increase. So we are going to use 345. So we are going to say 345 divided by 1145 right multiply by this amount 280,525 right 345 divided by this multiply by this right 84,525 right so this is equivalent to three months, three months after increase, right? And remember, we are calculating December, which is one month after increase. So this is very easy. We are going to say 84,525 divided by 3, right, divided by 3, divided by 3 months, okay, divided by 3 months, 28,175, so this is equivalent to 1 month, 1 month after increase, one month after increase, right? So, December is one month after increase because rent was increased on 1 September 2019. So, this is December rent income. So, we are going to open our parenthesis, right? 280,525, which is for 11 months, plus right uh, 28175 which is our 12th month so we are going to get we are going to get 308700 right so this is the amount for the year for all the 12 months so this is very easy, right? This is very easy. And in our next tutorial, we are going to cover 
percentage decrease we are going to cover percentage decrease we are going to cover percentage decrease so as soon as uh, activity 2 tutorial is ready uh, you will find the link under the description of this video thank you see you next time